Here's why Wayne Rogers left MASH with a broken heart. Wayne Rogers, the consummate actor renowned for his portrayal of Trapper John on the iconic TV series MASH, stunned fans and industry insiders alike when he made the unexpected decision to depart from the show after just three seasons. This decision left many wondering why he would walk away from one of television's most beloved and critically acclaimed series. In this video, we will take a thorough and in-depth look at the multifaceted reasons that compelled Wayne Rogers to bid farewell to MASH, a show that had become an indelible part of American television history. By the mid-1970s, MASH had evolved into more than just a popular television series. It had transcended into a cultural phenomenon. The show featured an exceptional ensemble cast led by Wayne Rogers and Alan Alda, and it was lauded for its exceptional blend of humor and poignant storytelling. The creative genius of Larry Gelbart and his team played a pivotal role in shaping the series into an enduring success. MASH had successfully struck a balance between offering witty humor and addressing profound themes, creating a devoted fan base that cherished its unique brand of entertainment. One significant turning point in the show's trajectory occurred when McLean Stevenson, who portrayed the beloved Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake, chose to exit the series at the conclusion of the third season. It was the year 1975, and MASH had already solidified its status as a cultural icon. The show boasted an ensemble cast, a harmonious blend of talent led by McLean Stevenson and Alan Alda. What set this series apart was its remarkable fusion of humor and heart-wrenching storytelling, all masterfully orchestrated under the creative genius of Larry Gelbart. But amidst the backdrop of laughter and tears, Stevenson's decision to bid farewell to the series marked a significant chapter in MASH's storied history. Unlike many actors who exits fade into obscurity, Stevenson's departure would be nothing short of memorable. The departure of McLean Stevenson was not destined to be a quiet retreat. It was a grandiose farewell, an emotionally charged episode that would forever resonate with viewers. It was a testament to the show's storytelling prowess that they could seamlessly weave humor and raw emotion into a single narrative tapestry. As Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake, McLean Stevenson had become more than just a character. He was the embodiment of camaraderie, warmth, and the shared experience of the Korean War. Viewers had not merely watched him, they had grown to love him, and his departure felt akin to bidding adieu to a cherished friend. The farewell episode became a stage where the bond between the characters and the audience was showcased in its full glory. It was not a one-sided affair where viewers were passive observers. No, it was a shared journey of letting go. As Blake's departure was revealed within the storyline, the characters grappled with their own sense of loss, mirroring the sentiments of the viewers. One particularly poignant moment seared itself into the collective memory of MASH enthusiasts. It was the scene where the news of Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake's plane being shot down over the Sea of Japan was delivered to the staff of the 4077th MASH unit. The stunned silence that followed was not just scripted, it was palpable, both on screen and in living rooms across the nation. This departure, this farewell, was not a mere exit. It was a defining moment in television history. It underscored the power of storytelling to elicit genuine emotions from viewers, and it showcased the profound connection between characters and their audience. It was a farewell that echoed through time, leaving an indelible mark on the heart of MASH enthusiasts. However, in the grand tapestry of MASH, where farewells were orchestrated with such care and emotional depth, one character's exit would defy expectations. This character was none other than Trapper John, portrayed by Wayne Rogers. Unlike the memorable farewell accorded to Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake, Trapper John had no such grand send-off, making his departure all the more surprising. This stark contrast in departures would set the stage for a deeper exploration of Wayne Rogers' unexpected decision to leave the series. It raises questions about the creative choices behind character exits in long-running television shows and the impact such decisions can have on both the narrative and the audience. Wayne Rogers' Creative Frustrations – A Quiet Departure The central driving force behind Wayne Rogers' decision to leave MASH 
was his own growing sense of creative frustration. While he thoroughly enjoyed working alongside Alan Alda and the rest of the cast, Rogers began to feel that his character, Trapper John, was gradually being relegated to a secondary role within the show's evolving narrative. As the series progressed, the scripts increasingly focused on the character of Hawkeye Pierce, portrayed by Alda, with Trapper John appearing to take a backseat in the unfolding storylines. It was not that Rogers harbored any ill will towards Alda or the character of Hawkeye. In fact, their on-screen chemistry was one of the show's defining features. However, the dynamic between the two characters was shifting in a way that left Trapper John feeling overshadowed. In the world of television, characters often take a life of their own. They become extensions of the actors who portray them, vessels through which stories are told. Trapper John had endeared himself to viewers, and Wayne Rogers had breathed life into this character, endowing him with depth and relatability. Yet, as the seasons rolled on, Trapper John's character arc seemed to stagnate. He became less central to the unfolding narratives, and his moments of depth and development grew scarce. It was as if the writers had unintentionally dimmed the spotlight on a character who had once shone brightly. For Wayne Rogers, this was a source of growing discontent. He had signed on to MASH with the understanding that he would be an integral part of the ensemble, sharing the limelight with Alan Alda's Hawkeye. However, as the series evolved, it felt as though the scales were tipping disproportionately in one direction. The dynamics of a television show are complex, with various factors influencing the storytelling process. Writers, producers, and network executives all play a role in shaping the narrative. In the case of MASH, the character of Hawkeye Pierce had struck a chord with audiences, and the show's creators naturally sought to capitalize on this popularity. This shift in focus towards Hawkeye's character was not a deliberate sidelining of Trapper John, but rather a response to the evolving dynamics of the show. As a result, Wayne Rogers found himself at a crossroads, torn between his affection for the character he had brought to life and the creative direction the show was taking. And amidst the backdrop of creative frustrations, Wayne Rogers faced a dilemma. He could continue to be a part of M.A.S.H., a show that had become a cultural phenomenon, or he could follow his instincts and seek new horizons. The decision weighed heavily on him, as he grappled with the desire to find fulfillment in his craft. In this creative tug-of-war, Wayne Rogers ultimately chose to follow his heart. He made the bold decision to depart from M.A.S.H. at the conclusion of the third season. This departure, unlike McLean Stevenson's, would not be marked by a grand farewell episode. It would be a quieter exit, one that left fans and industry insiders surprised. The absence of a contract, a unique situation. What makes Wayne Rogers' departure from MASH all the more remarkable is the fact that he had never formalized his commitment to the show through a signed contract. Although a contract had been presented to him at the outset of his MASH journey, Rogers had harbored reservations about specific terms. Surprisingly, no one within the production followed up on it, allowing this unique situation to unfold. In the world of entertainment, contracts are the bedrock of commitment. They outline the terms of an actor's involvement in a project, from compensation to the duration of their tenure. In the case of MASH, Wayne Rogers had been presented with a contract at the beginning of his tenure, but he had voiced concerns about certain clauses. These concerns, though voiced, never reached resolution. It was an oversight, perhaps driven by the frenetic pace of television production, or a mutual understanding that verbal agreements would suffice. In this unorthodox arrangement, Wayne Rogers was afforded an unusual degree of autonomy in his decision-making. In the absence of a formal contract, Rogers found himself in a unique position. He had the flexibility to evaluate his ongoing involvement with the show without being bound by legal obligations. This allowed him the freedom to assess whether the creative direction of MASH aligned with his artistic aspirations and professional satisfaction. In hindsight, the absence of a contract became a defining element in Wayne Rogers' departure. It was a testament to the trust and mutual respect that existed within the MASH production team. It was an acknowledgement that creative fulfillment should not be compromised even in the realm of television. 
As Wayne Rogers contemplated his future within the MASH universe, the absence of a contract was both a blessing and a burden. It meant that he could follow his instincts without the weight of contractual obligations, but it also meant that his departure would be devoid of the pomp and circumstance often associated with such significant exits. In the end, Wayne Rogers' decision to leave MASH was driven by a confluence of factors, creative frustrations, a desire for artistic fulfillment, and the absence of a binding contract all played a role in shaping this unexpected departure. It was a decision that reverberated through the world of television and left an indelible mark on the history of MASH. Subsequent to his departure from MASH, Wayne Rogers embarked on a career that included both acting and finance. He starred alongside Lynn Redgrave in the successful CBS comedy House Calls and made memorable appearances in various television shows and movies. In addition to his acting pursuits, Rogers evolved into a respected financial expert and became a familiar face on Fox Business News. Fox Business News. In 